Hi, um, so I'm doing a review on the Reebok One GT40S. Um, I've just done a 5k on it so my hand's a bit shaky. Um, the model we chose came with a screen inbuilt, so a touch screen inbuilt. There were other models that didn't have the touch screen but had a larger running belt um, and um, just, yeah, so they were larger and they went, they went to a higher speed and um, a higher incline as well, steeper incline. So when we bought this, one of the things that um, kind of made us buy it was the availability of it because we were in lockdown and the others were difficult to get our hands on. But I was concerned that the smaller running belt might not be adequate. So I'm five foot 11 and for my workout, I do a mixture of like walking and running. Um, and I would say that for a five foot 11 person, it's perfectly long enough and the width is fine as well. Um, the incline, it doesn't go as high as my last model did and it doesn't go as high as the higher models on this Reebok series does do. But again, I found it perfectly adequate. It has like 12 inclines and you know, you get tired using them. The speed goes up to 16, but I've only ever put it up to 14 because 16 would be too fast to think for me. Um, and I would say like probably other people might want it faster than that, but they would be much more, I mean, I think I'm, quite a fast runner so maybe if you were a proper sprinter or something you'd want to go faster and um, so what else I thought I'd just run you a few, through a few of the features um, because for me the main things were the size of the running belt being right the incline and also to have a good solid steady run I'd say the structure of it is really solid it's a really nice run it's cushioning is great it's just perfect actually and as you run in you feel really comfortable and it is sturdy so that was one of the things I was worried about but then it comes with these like, extra features that I thought I'd run you through just so you get a bit of an idea of the sort of nice to haves as well so we bought the um, GT40 um, and it came with this inbuilt tablet um, so that's just warming up. I think I must have left it a little too long when it's gone to sleep. Um, so while it's just turning on, you can get a sense of the speed of it. Um, I'll just talk about this. So that's a great for a fan. And on the website on Reebok, it does say that it has a fan. And on the website from the company we bought it from, it listed a fan. We sort of realised quite quickly that there's no button and nothing in here to turn the fan on. And we contacted Reebok. That isn't a fan. Um, they've listed it incorrectly. I think it's just there for like the higher models probably have a fan so they put the grate on um, rather than create a new piece to cover. So this is your touch screen. You probably can't get a great sense of what that looks like. Um, what I would say is it is a little bit glitchy so sometimes you press something and it goes through to completely the wrong menu and stuff i've had a few things where like the buttons have just been inactive but then the next time i've used it they've been reactivated um one thing to know is you can log um your user details but you can only log, log one user so my husband logged me and now all our workouts get logged against me um so when he does a workout, it logs against my record, which doesn't make any sense. The other thing is there's another uh, feature where you can um, put in like your BMI to do a program. And given that you can only log one person in the system, you'd think maybe it would pull through that person into here. It doesn't. So you can adjust this for however many different sized people. Um, and it doesn't save anything in there. Um, you can customise your own uh, workouts, which I really like, but when you're doing the customisation, uh, this isn't that easy to use. Okay, so I'm supposed to, I'm trying to, trying to do that one, yeah. It's not that easy to use. It often drags the wrong bit, or it drags it... Anyway, it's, it's, trust me, it's not that easy to use with your fingers. Might be better to get one of those stilo things. But the other thing is, so I, I sort of set a load of uh, speeds on it and it doesn't give you a number for what speed it is. And you'd think that that top, top, uppermost part would be the maximum speed of the machine. It's not. So I started running and then it went really swiftly into the maximum speed and 
maximum incline because obviously I hadn't had any clue of what I was doing while I was programming it so just be aware of that start start small and build these programs um, I used these quite a bit at the start but now I've started doing my own programs um, nothing really to report on those um, the fat burn one's an hour but you can adjust the time so when you go into it oh no you can't sorry stop stop I don't want to do that I don't want to do it no stop stop okay um, so you can't adjust the time sorry fat burn is one hour you could do it by time, which is, uh, sorry, I've just done the one by distance, so I just set 5k and did it as fast as possible and then it stops. And it's it goes down quite quickly, it doesn't sort of give you a warm down time, but anyway, that's fine. Real scene, I have tried this, um, but it made me feel a bit sick because um, I get like motion sickness and it must have sort of been something like that. Um, you can do all the buttons and everything manually which I really like because obviously when you're running you might quickly want to knock it down um, and you can also use these to go up one and up down so if you press your finger on and keep it on it doesn't keep going up it just goes up one so you have to keep pressing like that so I quite like just knocking it back down to nine or six or um, and then the ring climbs the same on here you can also run through your programs using these buttons and I think that's made me really like the fact that we've got the touch screen because I don't really want to keep pressing through to the next program. At first I wasn't that impressed with the touch screen but um, now I actually really love it um, despite its glitches. Um, one thing it does do that's bad is every time you want to go on it you have to connect to the internet even though it's already sort of so no internet access won't automatically reconnect i'm actually connected to the internet at the moment i've just been well i was until it went to sleep maybe it's not now so you click on it connect i suppose because it went to sleep even though we've got it on the function where it says keep it on even when it goes to sleep it doesn't so then if you can see on here it's connecting connected no internet but it is connected um then it says no internet but it is connected because i can prove it so you can use spotify i don't know why you'd really want facebook but i suppose you might um you can use spotify in here it is a little bit slow but um, I do use Spotify and then oh. so the model that didn't have the touch screen so exactly the same but without the screen without the ass was about 170 180 pounds less money wise and um, so we paid about 180 quid for this extra fee extra ta the tablet so this if I just play in here and then you can still see all your time and everything, your program. And then you can click it up on here. It doesn't show the videos at the moment from what I've seen, um, which would be nice because sometimes they have videos in Spotify. But we were just this. Too bad. It's 
not a loudspeaker, but um, I'm not going to do it now. So you have to go back in. And then close it. So stop it. Okay. And then, so the speaker's not very loud. When I'm running, I can't hear the speaker, I can't hear the music that well. So what I thought I'd do was watch a video, which I did when I was just doing that 5K. Um, so you go home like that. And then I watched a, a video, uh, like the first episode of something I'd never watched before. This Alex Ryder thing on Amazon. And resume, and um, which was good for like taking your mind off things, um, and it's quite actiony, so I could sort of catch the gist that people were being killed and stuff. But it's taking longer than we would like. It's very clean. That's maximum volume, and don't really, I don't really know what happened because like as I was running the five k on the bear in mind, I only went up to like speed nine there. Um, on the highest speed, so it's not really the speed, the sound of the machine that drowns out the the music and the TV. It's um, the sound of the impact as you're running. So it, the speakers just aren't loud enough, basically. Um, and then got your incline buttons there. The incline, I can't really demonstrate it, but you've got these buttons here, and it goes up to twelve. Um, these buttons here that speed goes up to 16 actually but these go up to 12 um, and I'd say the incline was fine if I could have a bigger incline I would have done but um, it was sort of uh, the other model went up to 15 and I just thought um, this was available this had the touch screen and overall I really really like it oh and what I would say is my husband put it together really really quickly I didn't see him do it he must have done it so quickly so it must have been he is quite handy to be fair, but it, it, he did it very quickly. It, it runs well, it's solid, and the thing where it brings down the, the belt from the upright position is very smooth. Um, and then I think that, oh, this is the only other thing. Because I can't hear the speakers that well, um, so I have got like bad hear, I'm not, I'm not good at hearing, but I think, you know, they could, if they were louder, it would be loads better. So I thought oh, I'd put my earphones in, but actually that's just an input. You can't put your earphones in. So that was that upset me a bit. Um, and I think that's it. But overall, I would. I'm not saying. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, if you don't want to spend a lot, and you want one that you can do a really good workout on, like for somebody who is either wanting it for walking or genuine training I'm quite comfortable to recommend this would I recommend the touch screen for the extra 180 yeah it's something to do it's something a little bit different you can just access your Spotify you don't have to put your earphones in when you're walking and um, like it's got loads of like little features and functions that keep it a bit different each time you're doing your workout and it does make it feel a bit more like you're at the gym as well um, anything else to add? Mm. Nope, that's it. Thank you.